Hey YouTube, I'm here with the Lego City Gold Mine, and I'm gonna go over the minifigures uh, right away. Uh, well, so look at the set, and on to the minifigures. Here's the first miner. They come with these silver miner hats, and they have a light at the front. And here's his face. And he has a nice torso, and it's printed on the back as well. He's got two tool belt, and he's a very uh, good uh, minifigure in this set. So, next miner, he is this guy. You get two of, uh, like, him. This guy is higher than this guy. He is, he's, a. Uh, this one has to do more physical labor, I think. Because he's sweating. And he, there's his uh, nice torso printing as well. Tools on his belt. Suspenders, uh, back brace. So he's lifting heavy things. <clears throat> uh, a light on his hat as well. Now, for the third miner, this guy, he's another guy that's lower on the um, levels he's got some overalls on mine has like a white spot right there but here's his face some scratches stubble and there's his um, overall back printing and, yeah, and then here's his mining cap now the next miner is the boss And let's get the coffee cup. He's got a tie on and the white shirt, so I think he's the boss. He's got red facial hair and pen in his pocket, ruler, uh, back brace, some red suspenders. So those are the miners. You get four of them. in this set. So one of the minifigures. So on the rest of the mine. The mine is a very nice playset. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do. It's turned out to be one of my more favorite fun uh, sets to play with even uh, building it was just really fun. I like the different vehicles you get the track and you get uh, pretty interesting pieces in it as well and I'll show you those as I go through it so one of the main attractions is the drill the drill car so I'm going to show that right now and here it is it's awesome if you spin here you see the front main drill just really spin and you have this is sticker here and there's quite a few stickers in here. This is what it looks like from the back. Tail lights, this, and then this is the knob to spin. You have a lever here, but that's just like an antenna. Some engine things, a light, another mining symbol, a dynamite, which is just clipped here. You can use it if you need to detonate, and compartment to store dynamite I guess and then from the front it looks like this so and the tires are the nice rubber kind as well and a chair for one driver and a coffee cup so this guy is <laughs> I'm going to set this miner in here. So, there he is. And as you can see ahead, you have a cluster of gold in the tunnel where you drill. And it's a pretty cool feature because you can actually go in there and get your drill spinning like so and go into the tunnel 
and bore it out. Yeah, nice sound effects as well. And I found that if you really uh, press the drill in there and hold the flap back, because you can essentially pass through this, because the tunnel, it, it has a door, which this back flips up, so it gives you a feeling you go into it. But if you want to break the gold off with the drill, you can hold it and spin it kind of hard, and you can knock pieces of gold off from the back wall. You get six of these nuggets in total, six golden nuggets and they store back there on the wall. It's not what they store. You can clip them to that back wall and that's the cave hole and this is how it flips up when you drive through. You push it and it, as you drive through it continues to lift and you can pass on through. And uh, to show you the wall I guess you can take it off and you can clip your gold nuggets anywhere you'd like on here. The way I had been doing it was put... Okay, so the way I, I was saying, the way I like to arrange them is put them together. Instead of having them like s spaced out like this, where you find individual chunks, I like t to put it as if it's one big massive chunk. So, because you can kind of... Or uh, put them, arrange them, so that way they interlock. I'll try to do it real quick. But kind of take some playing around. See how it's starting to form a massive gold chunk. And there, it looks like an enormous chunk of gold. And that's six of those together, all of them included. And put that the back. Use these ratchets to connect it. And it connects right here. So that is the tunnel of gold. that you can drill um, and drive through with the drilling truck. Next vehicle I'm going to go over is the uh, trailer truck. So here's the truck itself separated from the trailer and back here you have a broom and a shovel clipped and there's the hitch. This is a sticker. There's some tail lights. Uh, there's no opening doors you just take this off and that lets you in the cockpit. This is the front view. The license plate, TAS4204. Uh, the front headlights. And big uh, side view mirrors. Here's the trailer. The trailer is uh, very nice. It's made up of um, a bunch of these like barricade sides and comes out looking like when you're done kind of corrugated on the edges and this is a tipper like so has those tipper things which are cool and you have a bunch of tan gray and brown pieces which are symbolizing dirt rocks rubble and all of that and some on the on the trailer there is four tires on the back there are these uh things you can lift out of the way when you are towing. There's a ball that goes into the hitch and now you can trail it. Um, you So you can drive it places and tip it and if you spill it out like you have all this all over you can use the uh, wheelbarrow it comes with and a shovel or the broom and gather the rubble together and you can use 
this to move anything really. And the rocks and rubble can be grabbed uh, with the um, pincher that, that I'll go over on the crane. So uh, the crane is here, the top of the mine, and it can it has a small amount of track to go like this. It can spin 360 as long as it's free. If it's too far over, you can't spin 360 there, but uh, on this side, you can see that it has the uh, sticker there, and this is uh, tightening and this is lowering. The, the thread is going through the crane. Uh, there's like an eye right here. These little hook to make an eye. And then it's coming out of there. And here's a piece of that I've never had before. It's a scooper. And it's actually got a spring. A very nice piece. It closes on its own. I've had a little one which you use a rubber band. This one's spring loaded. You just tie it there. So yeah, when you use your crane, you can either uh, give slack or take it. So it's loosened. Now to demonstrate, you can grab some rocks. kind of makes it easier to tip um get them all at one end then try to get a good grab of some pieces then you can lift it up and swing your crane swing it now continue like get it high enough and then you can either <clears throat> if you're picking it up off the ground, you can load the trailer or you can load uh, this, the hopper, where it says gold mine up here. And that's this sticker, in case you're wondering. And it goes to a conveyor belt system, so you squeeze, let your pieces in there. And now, okay, you got the rubble in here. And you have a little, like, ramp thing that helps you keep everything going in downwards motion and it goes down to the really nice conveyor belt piece which I didn't know was included in this park the trailer here so rotate this and it gets the conveyor belt moving and it will hit there and then into the trailer boring the mine out Taking the rubble that you've blown and blasted out and loading it up. If some gets stuck, you just help it along with the finger. This conveyor belt is a piece, it's this length here, and it's the whole thing. It's not, you don't build it, it's the conveyor belt, it's a piece this time. It's not like a track to a, a, like a tank, but <clears throat> it's an actual cool conveyor piece which I, I think it's the first time I've ever had it so that's the conveyor system over the tunnel bore and you get a nice you know these are like these rock they're already rock formations you get this one these two are the same and this one's a big one yeah that's that and on the left you have uh, well there is a speaker here a loudspeaker too if to talk to the guys and the crane let me show you in more detail and I'll show you a guy in there you lift up here and it's a really nice design the way they design that lift up and you place uh, one of the miners in there like this and there's a, a single red chair in there. Okay, got the miner in. 
And what's really cool is the controls are inside the window. So, and the top of this has a little alert, uh, orange light, a yellow light to um, light dark, dark. Uh, I don't know to beam light on stuff. This one's more of like a blinker. Uh, it can slide like this. It goes 360. Uh, it's got a mining sticker on there and these lines. Also, uh, it's got the crank, uh, the twist knob to lower and raise the scooper. Now, you get a large uh, track with this. Like, I don't know how many tracks, four or five tracks. And you have this little system here where you can come out of the tunnel and load stuff on this little trailer here. Um, it's all lit up. It's got a sticker here. This is what the sides look like. These can like move. And this can separate. So you can put it somewhere and feel it. The tires uh, you know, they're, they're train tires, they grip the track, and this is what the little front train looks like, very cool. It does have opening doors, which is a really neat touch. I'm going to put the guy in here, stands up, and he runs the track, so it can get a boulder from inside there and come bring it out here and blast it away with a time dynamite I mean explosive and it's a really smooth track uh, very very smooth rolling I don't know if this is how the train track is I got a train track I got a train uh, for Christmas last year and I still haven't put it together the uh, red cargo train. So, I don't know if these are normal train tracks, but in any case, uh, you can get the boulder, and you get two of these boulders in this, by the way, and you can fill it with anything you like rubble, gold, but you can uh, simulate that you're going to blow it up with. A detonator, you get two detonators, and okay. these are the detonators, and this is a, a dynamite system where you have a timer connect to it to blast, and you get uh, you get three sticks of dynamite, I believe in total, and you can put the timer on any single one of them. You get an extra um, gauge. So in a sense, you just put another clip on it. You have two gauges, and you can, okay, you put it next to the rock, like this, and then one of your guys is around, safe, and then you push this down, and it blows up the rock. And since you can fill them, you can put anything in there. Um, I'm going to show you how you can fit stuff in this rock. There's a lot of space within the rock. And show you it opening. So if you blast it. I put some rocks in there too. Ignore, ignore that stuff. But all the gold exploded out of it. And you can only put like one piece if you want. That was just the mother load in that boulder. So, put all six pieces and I'm going to incorporate all my gems. Gems, gold, whatever. Into this. And really get some truckloads of, you know, treasure. I have the dirt and rocks. They're rolling all over my room.
these cylinders. Okay. So that was the boulder. You get some other accessories. I'll show them to you now. You get this uh, blast warning, so you can set that up and warn people in the near in the area, workers, whatever. Uh, you get the win the wheelbarrow, which is used to be new. Just recently, um, this cool barricade with some blinkers on it to block something off. You have a crate with a couple things in it. It's a green crate, <laughs> and you have a jackhammer and a pickaxe, which is a necessity for these miners. So that's their um, container of tools. You get a couple coffee mugs, two, two mugs, the red mugs. A lot of stuff comes in this set. Cool stuff. I'm not going to disassemble this mine for a long while because I like it so much. So, on the left <clears throat> is the security, or, uh, security a room, a safe room, and you have a sticker that says security. Uh, I like it. I like it from the front, but if you go around the side, such as like right here, this is inside of it. Right here is inside of it. Maybe it would have been better if they would have sealed it. But this is from the front. I guess I could seal it myself. It's got the new like hood piece, which comes in the recycle set sets and some of the new cars. So security and you can like and within there is like a stopper so your door stops there every time and you have to take what's out what's in there. So you got within here you have a crate <clears throat> and you have a radio. Why that's in the security room I do not know. And two gold bars which seem seems logical to be within the vault. But anyway, so I think I'm not going to keep this radio on there anymore. I'm going to keep it in one of the guy's hands. Or in a vehicle somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to keep this with the gold. You get two of the bars and you can put your harvest in here. So here's all the gold included in the crate. That is six nuggets and two golden bars. Put that all supposedly securely in your vault. I'll show you the, the fault of this. It's stupid. And there it is. Completely open side there. On the other side Maybe I'm missing a window or something. On this side, you can tell you have bars here, but on this side, it's nothing. So, that's the security vault. I think I'm going to improve on it and make it to my liking. But the basics is here for a cool, playful mine. And, like, you're mining out the side of a, something for gold and gems. You get a lot of accessories for your mine. This, I have the um, loader and tip, uh, no, not loader and tipper, the, yeah, one of them is like the little, tr the truck and the, the tractor, and it's a loader and the tractor, and the little set, and then that, now i got the mine. This has inspired me to get some more of the mining sets, so, um, I like the big uh, truck, so. Probably pick that up too. Uh, this is probably my favorite minifigure uh, from this set. And I hope you liked my review of the mine. So I'm going to go over the box now because I haven't gone over it. Okay, Lego City mine. Set four two zero four seven hundred and forty eight pieces, and here's a nice shot of the front. 
comes in a really big box and I said I got this on uh, on sale at Target for $89.99 here's a look at the guys you get included the accessories and the manuals it's four manuals and you can see how you build it and the sections these are the uh, sets that uh, I have the two little ones. I need the one on the left. And I want the big truck. That's an excavator truck. I don't know what it is. Nice features. A nice big drill car. Really a lot of vehicles and minifigures with this. I think it's a great buy, especially at $89.99. The price I got it at. So, 